How's it going guys? Today we're continuing with the Life is Strange. There's only two more episodes I need to do in this. Episode 4 and episode 5. It's been over a month since I've played this, but I do want to finish it. Uh, recently the new series came out of this game. And that made me think, geez, I really need to get the series finished. I'm really behind because like there's a new series of it. So yeah, a bit behind the times. So let's get these two episodes done. I'm going to do a quick recap. Uh, if you did forget... Uh, basically, we're looking for Rachel Amber. We went back in time and saved Chloe's dad, William, from dying. But that changed the whole future, or the whole present even. And instead, Chloe is now handicapped in a wheelchair. So it's kind of a bit of a weird payoff. So we'll see what happens. Let's get into it. Episode 4, Dark Room. Okay, that's what it's called. But how happy is Chloe though? Because she was miserable without her dad. So I know it looks bad, but if she's happier now... I guess that's a, ben a bonus. But there's a storm coming, isn't there, apparently? If you remember in the very it's first one. weird hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. It's weird. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. She looks like a different person. It's so Max. It's so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a pitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. At least, I'm alive here with you. God damn it, Chloe. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. It was a car accident then. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. They could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Is Rachel still missing? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Uh, I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. No, oh, you are a completely different person. <laughs> so, do we get the choice to go back then, or what? Because I'm still not 100% sure. So, Rachel's did still go missing. And the snow stuff still happened. I still, I'm just trying to figure out what has actually happened in this world. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? God damn! She's not happier than she was. She isn't. She's up. She's not happier than she was. She's like the same sadness as last time. Like, <laughs> so there's no better. This is not a better situation than last time. They're both as bad. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Me. You have me, goddammit, Chloe. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. You have me. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. God damn it. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Uh... Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh... <laughs> No pun intended. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. 
Now let's you get the show like on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. There's a seat here, I can s Ah, there's a seat. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this situation. I could not sleep like Max is sleeping right now. My stomach would feel so flipping knotted. <laughs> it was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um... I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm what? Chloe. This sex. This sex. Preferred the other situation. I think William would, would prefer the other situation as well. I'm sure he would prefer Chloe not to be like this. You know, him being her father. You know what I mean? Oh, hello. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Why is Victoria being so nice to me? What the hell? Just such a biznitch, usually. Am oh, I getting morphine? Nothing here. Morphine! It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. I guess so. Cabinet? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Another cabinet? Here it is. There it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Hmm, blue butterfly. That's why I took the picture on, remember? At the start of the game, my first picture was a blue butterfly. Kind of a butterfly. I drew a butterfly on the fireplace, did I not? Did I not draw a butterfly on the fire? It is, it's right there. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. All right, let's give Chloe a god dang morphine in a bun. Or maybe not in a bun. Just uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Did I do a thing? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. What happened? As principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance and blah 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 blah. Given that the campus and buildings have been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfil all the needs blah 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 blah. Sadly, with regret, deplor deplorable fund federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. I believe she would find a more fitting, rewarding, scholastic, scholastic environment at the H. West Miskaton God damn it! Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual ac academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings with her outstanding GPA. There is no doubt that Miss Katonic would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider the suggestion as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. Well, you see? 
He doesn't do anything good with that many. See, it's a good job we took it. It was a good thing. We took a good thing. It was good. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Oh. Maybe Listen, I Max, could. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. What? I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable. What? While my parents suffer along. And I will too. What? This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. No! Do you understand? Don't do a thing! Yes, I do. This is not a All thing. You have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'm not doing it. This is a thing. This is not a thing that I'm doing as thing. This is not a thing that I as doing right now thing. Doing. No. What? I. No. It's not. No. What? No. This is not a thing. I don't know. Refuse, except... What does I don't know do? Does that go back in time? I want it... Uh, I want William to die now. William... <laughs> William can go bin himself. What happens if I click I don't know? Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Oh, don't do the choice thing again. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. I mean, it doesn't seem For very... Once. I admit it's not the I most fun. My own choice. It's not the most fun the situation most to be in. Please. Help me, Max. No, don't do the choice thing. Don't do... Don't you choice me now. No! <laughs> Why are you choosing me like this, bro? Can I not go back? I... <sighs> ah! Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together. Ah! Forever. Damn it! Damn it! No! It's not a thing I want to do, but I kind of get it, because I kind of get it. Actually, I, I really get it. Like, it's, it can't be much fun living like that. Oh. <sighs> ah! <sighs> no! Thank you so much. No. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Can I go? Don't forget about me. I wanna. Never. I wanna I kill love off. You, Max. See you around. I need to Sooner kill off. than you think. No. Wait. Hey. No. E ah. No. Ah. That. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, that's not good. I just murdered Chloe. He's dead. Uh, oh no. Ah! It's over for me. It's fucking over for what? Can I not? Wait, look at book. Focus on the thank sorry, you. William. Yes, William, bin your like fully William. Fully bin yourself, William. This reality can fuck itself. I didn't even have a choice there, so... I mean, you have to go back and murder William. There's no choice in that. But I guess this is... Wait, am I doing it wrong? That seems right to me. There we go. 
<sighs> I mean, luckily that choice didn't mean anything in the end because we're going back to change it all anyway. Why have I black screen? Have I, I haven't crashed ever. Game? Game? All right then. I had to re really like 10 minutes of fucking dialogue. Swear to God, game. If you break again, I will not be happy with you. I will be so unhappy with you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare crash again, game. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, there you Someday go. Someday dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope just the black screen didn't scare before. you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Just letting him die. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. Are you gonna put that in the fire? Don't put, don't, Maxine. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no, no Max, Max, oh, oh, Max, that. why? That was such a dumb, don't that was such a dumb it. decision. Tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. You gotta feel for Max, actually. She's gotta Max, feel like being shit. being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. She has to feel Chloe, like shit. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen. Whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Uh, but it's kind of a lie because I didn't contact her in ages. Ah, uh, so now we've got to go back and burn all the new ones. And we're going to have shitty David back. What's that? What is that? What was that last scene? My Max. drink went down the wrong way. one kiss, now you're all over me? Uh, I'm just... Uh, oh, Jesus. I'm so glad you're here. I'm imploding. You uh, sound uh, high, but thanks uh, for the morning bro. Uh, Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Whew. Okay. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Board. Ah, oh, so this is what we were taking upstairs. We're getting evidence together. Got you. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs, it's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Woo! Well, yeah, that seems pretty. Oh, no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Oh, there's a window there. Go. Go. Fly. Be free. There you go, bird. Are you telling me they've been living here all this time? They didn't notice there was a flipping bird going ham in their house. <laughs> but how much bird shit would there be in their house? Hi, birdie. We're friends. 
I got you kicked out, so we're not friends. You don't like me much. Ooh. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. What does that mean? Poor David. But he was doing so much weird stuff. He was doing so much weird stuff. From David Madison to Roman Wells. I apologise for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a com complete investigation of the facts. And based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madison. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Ooh. Yeah, but, uh, damn. The camera thing, I was thinking about the realistic terms. I wasn't thinking about some weird There's conspiracy. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. If you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes, I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I, I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favourite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Ah, Madsen. 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 Just tell people what the fuck's going on, man. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Uh, is there a crowbar anywhere? Crowbar? Ah, there's a crowbar. Okay. That's Half-Life, this bitch. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Oh, yeah, put that in your pocket. <laughs> crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Anyways, rewind it. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. Yeah, this is all that weird stuff. What the fuck? Land latitude and longitude. Oh, he took pictures of that, did he? That fight. He needs to stop being. Is he white? <laughs> Score. And he bl he blames me. Back to Chloe now. Call Chloe. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. You can't be mad about that, Chloe. Fucking bend yourself if you are. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Hey, she Let understands. Me. I'm sorry. No problem, girl. Get your back, girl. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. Hey. I'm on it. Kate! How you doing? Oh, that's a bit of a weird, weird oh, <laughs> Max! Hi, Kate. Kate. Good to see I you. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. 
I'm so sorry. Kate, no problem, guys. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Yeah, Max, best I time. felt so best lost time. and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate. No problem. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Have you seen that hot dog in the background? Look at that. That's Daniel so weird. Wrote me a very sweet note. <laughs> and I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Well, I I would argue that she is a bit on the evil side, to be 100% honest. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Wait, she's- wait. Wait! Wait! You're not gonna get yourself hurt now, are you? Alright. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh yeah, I forgot I took care of her. Her uh, rabbit, while she was in the hospital. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Ah, it's nice that we saw Kate though. I guess that's the end of her story arc, pretty much. She'll text me that thing. I hope she doesn't get hurt. For the love of God, you better not. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Oh, that's fucking Principal Wellens. Fucking Bin Meister himself. Oh, there's Brooke over there. Hi, Brooke. She's over in the distance. I noticed her because I, I saw her drone. In the top left, look, there's a drone. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson! I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool <laughs> for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. That Either wasn't way, a choice, right? I didn't have a choice to submit a photo. Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! God damn it, Chloe. You're out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so <laughs> ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Cool! So looking up right now. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Brooke, Brooke! Brooke, Brooke. So hey, you have a drone. You should know where you. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh, Nathan? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. 
You aren't half get arsy. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Chloe! Nathan's nowhere to be found. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you I thought, down, I thought Max, Max took, grabbed her left breast then. Now I just have to like, find Wait Nathan's here. room. <laughs> Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room is 111. Kate, you are awesome, thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please, please be careful, promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Yay! Kate is best! Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. And she didn't get hurt. Kate is bae. I don't know how she found that out, though. I don't have a clue how she found that out. Okay. <laughs> Has a projector in his room. What the hell? Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I, d I forgot you're still teenage adults. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk. I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay Mother Oh Trekker. my god. Chloe. Damn, that's a Daniel. Am I not taking that? I would want, like, surely you'd take that photo so you can never fucking use it. I don't know. I really hope they were all consenting models. Check out what on Nathan the computer. Is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week. So I can, what's this, who's this to? To Victoria, okay. So I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about gang going and I'm picking up some serious party favours. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have the an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Uh. Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. So that's Kate's picture. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, video. Sean even. Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Sean Prescott. Who's Sean Prescott? Nay, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if you need be. So he's the father, maybe. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out, out after his book tour. But for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you to calm calm and quiet while pan estates is being developed i know being a prescott is a burden and i'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father it was hard for me when I, my dad opened my eyes to our destiny but you'll thank me someday don't worry about blackwell this shithole town is going to be an enema an enema as along with a fresh brand i want i want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right don't fuck it up son your father. Text I mean generic. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusations. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset whilst I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you to you distracted from school and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. God damn it, Principal Wells, you're such a dickhead, mate. Nate's a dickhead, Principal Wells is a dickhead. Together they make a bag of dicks. They're a bag of dicks. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Oh, scratch marks, hang on. 
What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. What is that? Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Okay. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Is that it? Is that all I needed? Yeah? Chloe! Chloe! I got a thing. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Uh-oh. What are you doing in my dorm? Uh-uh. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Oh. Max, I got Hello. this. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Was there? What are you doing? You are so fucking dead. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, it Get off me, bro. Oh, whoa, it's kicking ass. Um, I stop one for a sec. Uh, cause he's going a bit ham. Stop it. Come on. But, uh, I mean, I mean, he did just. Can you take oh, the weapon? My head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating. We should try to be better than that. Why was I? <laughs> Can I watch? I kind of want to see what happens. Stay out of it. I'm not even funny. He did possibly like rape people, Chloe, huh? okay? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this motherfucker? Oh shit! Warren! Get off me! Please! <laughs> oh my god, Warren actually Please did stop. go ham. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. That's pretty bad. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. I need to think about another factor here. The other factor I'm thinking about is... Frank, that's the one. He has the gun from last time. So, Chloe doesn't have a gun. And now Chloe has a gun in that scenario. So, is there a situation where Chloe needs to use a gun to survive? Oh, man, I don't know, though. I mean, that is pretty far. But, I mean, he did probably rape her. It was a it was a rapey thing, or he at least tried to. And the thing he did with Kate was pretty bad. Nathan does deserve to get his teeth completely knocked out, to be fair. Like, completely. But, but, it will hurt my case against him. I would. This scenario, I do like the scenario of him getting his ass kicked, to be honest. Because he does deserve it a lot. Like, he fully deserves it. But, it will hurt my case against him, right? Damn so... It. Because I'll come across as, like, an aggressive person. And also, Warren will uh, come across. Uh, he might get kicked out for beating him up so badly, so... No, I clicked the wrong thing. Wait, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get Nathan kicked out right now. And it's going to oh. be hard to do enough. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. 
I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. No, big up Nathan. Big up Warren, even. Big up Warren. I mean, I know he went pretty ham, Man, but I stopped so him in this reality. In love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Bang bang. Big uh Warren. <laughs>